Alright, so I'm getting ready to go to Dolce Gabbana. I have an um, dress fitting and they are waiting for me because they have to tailor it. So um, today is my only day off that I can do this. So I'm gonna, um, <clears throat> I don't know, I'm gonna invent something with my makeup today. I wanna do something cute. So I'm gonna start um, with a primer and just, you know, doing my base as usual. So we're gonna fast forward this part.
lo vorresti fare più corto alla fine o preferisci una... Do you think it's prettier shorter? No. Because, you know, the models are taller, so... So you think it's just very... That made you to look longer. Very classic like that. Ma non, io non l'accorcerei. And this... Uh, the sagginess I don't like. What you don't like? Just a little... Uh, this, in this... Area. Yeah, but since when I do it, this is good. Now it's okay, yeah. no? Ci stanno così bene. Queste qua fanno male perché sono molto appuntite. Ok, e poi vabbè, in vernice. Come si chiama questo modello? Bellucci lo chiamo. Perché è l'unico idolo che ho, è Monica Bellucci. Tutte le scarpe. Perché lei è l'ispirazione, no? Sì, tutte, perché tu vedi, non so, Monica Bellucci è molto simile. Quindi anche come colore. Tu non hai idea di quanto felice mi fai ad avere questo vestito. Ok, mio. Questo oh. c'ha un nome. Se mai ti va in saldo, me lo dici? Sì. <ride> Capiterà una volta su mille che un accessorio ti va in saldo. Nascondila. Difficile, eh? difficile, no, però potrei. Può... Secondo me ci sarà anche una parte che sarà sempre tipo questo. Aspetta, ah, ma questi sono quelli annoying. Okay guys, let me turn down the volume here on the TV. I'm trying to go through all my order from Shein. This is my second order of my life. I did one a couple years ago, maybe three years ago, and I didn't choose right. I don't know. I was very disappointed by this um, company, but you know... <sighs> They have cute pictures, cute stuff. I thought maybe it was me being more inexperienced with online shopping back then and I didn't choose right. So I tried to make another order now, you know, three years later. And I still, I mean, as far as now, I'm disappointed by this brand again because, okay, these pants, uh, which are very cute. I, I tried on they're very cute and I'm showing you a picture right here how they should look they are super comfortable and super cute but look at this they arrive with a massive hole like not even on the stitching is not unstitched is literally completely broken see the stitching is below sorry for my nail polish by the way but yeah this is my point look at that I mean it's unbelievable so I have to return this then the very first um item i open which i'm scared to show you guys because there's a massive bugs inside like i i think i didn't scream so loud in many years i'm even scared to show you it's like this rainbow skirt which is too like mesh i'm so disgusted like i'm really scared to show you guys because there's a ginormous bug inside let me see if i can show you oh my god i'm scared I'm so scared. Where is it? Oh my god. Do you see there's something there? There's like, I don't know where this stuff comes from, China. There it is. Do you see that cocoon? Oh my gosh, it's so gross. Ugh. Do you see that thing? Holy fuck. It's disgusting. What the fuck is that? It's like a massive bug, like, oh my gosh, I want to put it back because I have to return this shit. I hope the returns are going to be fast and, and easy to do in this company. But like, I don't even know how to fold it because it's disgusting. I just managed to rewrap it and I'm going to put it inside this. I have these um, plastic mailing bags. Okay, so, so far I'm very disappointed. So I'm going through all the rest now. Um, this shirt is very cute on it's very cute on I really like it it gives me Chanel vibes I like the pearls 
I like the big bow, I like the black and white theme and a bit of sparkle. This is kind of a basic things you can put it with um, jeans or with um, uh, you know a skirt. The only things look I mean the finishing is terrible. You can tell it's China manufacturer because it's so poorly finished. But you know, I mean, if you cut these little bits, um, it's a pretty cute shirt. I really like it. Easy to match. Uh, just a bit stiff, the printing. You can hear the noise. It's very plasticky. But if you can go past that, I mean, it's pretty cheap shirt. It's, uh, it's quite cute for the price you pay. Okay, let me try on the rest. I'm trying on this swimsuit. I'm sorry if I don't show you on because I, I don't know, I'm a bit self-conscious. I don't want to show you my body in bikini yet. So this is the swimsuit I choose. This one, it's pretty cute. Um, then I choose this black one. It's pretty cute and soft. I show you a picture right here, how it should look because obviously like this, you can't understand. And then I choose this one, which is cute as well. And it's um, like with a little peplum skirt kind of uh, thing going on. And you have obviously the slips stitched underneath. Um, this is the copy of the more expensive brand. I must say this one is very cute, but you have to have a perfect physique to rock it because it's quite revealing. I have a, a large breast, so it's not very supporting, but it's very pretty and then the back you know it's backless you just have the little skirt and then it lays up around your neck so you really have to have a very nice body to rock this one but overall it's cute just fit very small this one all right so i'm sorry i was uh, meant to do like a haul with some try on but i don't feel like it i mean i want to finish to go through this and hopefully there's no more bugs okay this one is like a shirt dress i really like the puffy sleeves like the tool sleeves and i love the three-dimensional um ice cone ice cream cone design i think it's very original with a waffle cone uh, it's pretty simple. I like that this is versatile because it could be a very comfy tea dress, you know, to wear at home or as a sundress on top of your bikini if you're on the beach. Or you can rock it as a t-shirt if you put like, you know, a nice cupcake skirt and you tuck in the shirt. It looks like a shirt, you know, and not a dress. The cotton is pretty soft. The, the sleeves are pretty soft it's not like that kind of tool that itch you it's a cute uh, you know t-shirt dress different i mean again for the money you pay it's cute so i think i'm gonna keep this i definitely gonna keep this shirt i really like it and then let's see this one this is um another shirt dress with a tool i'm gonna show you okay so this one it's like another shirt dress let me organize here which it becomes a maxi dress with the extension tool which is like a maxi skirt attached on the bottom of this like tea dress um the idea was original and cute and it should look like this in the picture but in reality um the material is not really hugging your curves as a bodycon should do you know so it's very saggy on the under breast area so i don't like the sagginess it doesn't really fit nice it looks cheap so this is gonna be returned next i have this rose print which is copy of my beloved Dolce & Gabbana roses uh, collection this is the cheap version of it and I found the same exact print with the roses and the butterflies uh, I just hope the cut fit nice this is just like a simple um, you know afternoon tea kind of dress okay the material seems pretty soft and nice it's just a simple very cute girly tea time dress uh, let's see how I fit on okay so this one it's actually pretty cute I 
I really like the, the cut, it's very nice for every day. I had the original Haute Couture Dolce Gabbana, which cost me a fortune, let's not go there. But obviously I can't wear that uh, on a regular, you know, life. So it's nice to have this option, this alternative. It's very, very pretty, I really like it. It feels very comfy, it's just a teeny bit too short. I wish it was slightly longer, almost to the knee, but it's, it's very, very pretty. I really like this one. It's a bit like a cupcake kind of shape and I like it's very tasteful, the neck and the sleeve. Very cute. So this is a must keep. Thanks God it was worth going through the trauma of the bugs to find something cute. I did purchase even this like um, um, top with the polka dots and it looks cheap as hell I don't even open it again um, it's not worth it I show you a picture of how it should look here but it looks so cheap so badly made I don't even bother to open it next I have this uh, transparent raincoat which I thought it's very fashion forward it's been a few years that I want to have like a transparent raincoat and then you know Chanel came out with all the clear Haute Couture collection, this summer, so I thought it would give me the vibe again to search for a nice raincoat, you know, clear raincoat, and let's see how it looks on. Okay, just the sound irritates me. No, no, I really, I really... No, this didn't work out the way I was hoping for no 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 so this is gonna be returned this return this I really liked this pen but oh Jesus this was my favorite piece of the old order and they are the only one broken it's so annoying I have these two left so this is a bag and this is a shirt let's see them open mm, this is pretty soft this is pretty soft the material seems pretty nice Let's see. We have to see how it looks on. I just don't want to mess this up with makeup because the color is pretty tight. It is pretty, I'm not gonna deny it. Um, but I think this kind of high neck, it doesn't really enhance people with large breasts, you know, curvy people. I think V-neck looks better. When the neck is so high, almost like turtle little neck, it doesn't quite suit people with large breasts, but it's a shame because this is actually very cute. If you are very skinny, this is very cute. Even the material is pretty nice for the price you pay. And I love the little frill sleeve and the frill here is very, it's very chic. So this is a nice piece. It just doesn't suit my body type. The last is this large bag. Um, honestly, I've been so traumatized by that bug I cannot believe it's still in my house that I'm scared to open stuff because God knows where they've been storing this stuff, you know, like for months in a dirty garage or something in China. Oh my gosh, this stinks so much. It's very pretty though. You know, like cheap leather, that very strong smell. It's very pretty. Um, I was hoping for this one because I have to travel soon and I need like a little like a quite large tote bag you know but more like stylish than the regular tote bags to put stuff inside and travel comfortably but this stinks let me see inside I'm scared <laughs> I'm scared now to open stuff from this brand oh this really really stinks guys there's a pocket even here which looks broken because it's in the middle and it's close here and close here what the heck okay I fixed it so this is like a document a little pocket or money and stuff you know little valuable 
and then I don't know I may have they even come with a longer um, shoulder belt I may have to leave it out and let it breathe you know let it take some hair and see if the snails goes away because this is quite cute I'm not gonna lie and the last things actually I even ordered these hair clips I thought they were so original I really like them they give me a vintage vibe and I really really like them no they're not as easy to use as I thought I thought they were like literally clip this are the hard one like the, it's it's hard i'm gonna try on my hair all right so i'm inside my shein account and it seems like it's pretty easy to return hopefully you just tick the boxes of the stuff that you want to return apparently and then i'm not sure about refund method wallet or payment account this is like a credit store kind of thing so i don't know i have this feeling so i'm gonna go with payment account and hopefully i do it right then submit and then apparently here you can choose the reason why you want to return this stuff so uh this item is just very cheap so damage or defective not true in size poor quality here poor quality definitely then this one uh wrong item doesn't suit me doesn't suit my shape this one is defective damage or defective there we go this one poor quality this one poor quality there's no smell stain odors issue there we go submit I'm not gonna put the pictures like I don't have time for that okay um please print out your new label and attach it to your seal return parcel drop to your nearest post office for mailing i'm gonna take care of all returns tomorrow this is the part that i don't like okay and this is another reason why i will never purchase from this company ever again because the quality is freaking cheap and disgusting okay like between 20 items you're lucky if you found two or three that you like and then you have even to pay for return like I don't like that I'm sorry I have to return things because I found a freaking box inside because I found broken items with holes and I have to pay to return something that you sent me damaged to begin with no this is not good business I'm sorry now I remember why I didn't order from this company after that first time and I felt into the trap again and I will never ever ever purchase from this company ever again it's crap and god knows how they keep stuff on their warehouse it's definitely filthy because it stinks and there's freaking bugs i can't get over it it's disgusting look how cute are these cakes from Arrots. i have the little strawberries it's so cute then i have the creme brulee this is adorable and then lemon tart and chocolate eclair I think I'm gonna go with the chocolate eclair and some coffee look how pretty is the box by the way look how cute there's even the little gold flakes oh my gosh my nail polish is awful coffee please there we go breakfast is ready yeah, try As much as you want. It's like a strawberry mousse, no? I think it may be a mousse and it looks so good. Mm. 